Hello YouTube, it's Kurosama, and here I have the Diver Gear, which is a Gunpla Display Base for the Gundam Build Diver series. Now obviously you can go ahead and utilize your own mobile suits if you want to utilize this for uh, them. But, I mean, I would exclusively make it for either customs that you made or kits that you probably would say, Hey, this is a kit I would utilize if I was in the Build Divers universe. Um, but if not, then I'm just going to pretty much use this as my um, stand for when I do my gun reviews for Build Diver kits. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the cover real quick. Uh, looks really good. You know, pretty basic. Very, very surprising that they're going to utilize a giant box like this just for a stand. Uh, I kind of would have thought that they would use a, um, like a clear bag like they've done for the previous ones. But it looks like this part right here is going to be from the Action Base 5, so that looks pretty cool. Nothing really too crazy, just going to see all the di different gimmicks and uh, different kind of like functionalities of the base and you can see right here you can kind of put put your uh, personalized information for the mobile suit and your uh, your name right here on the base and here's all the parts that's going to be coming inside the kit it does retail for 700 yen which is about seven bucks and underneath the actual box uh, you get a lot of information on future kits and as well as like some of the uh, functionality uh, you can have with the thing so like with the h2 magnum you can go ahead and deploy the funnels that it has uh, right there on the action base itself and it looks pretty cool just having the mobile suit just standing on the base itself instead of you know having to do um, like dashing stuff such as this I kind of like it just kind of stand there like that and then all the other uh, future releases that's gonna be coming out in the near future okay so what comes in this box well you're gonna have this giant clear piece right here that's gonna be the center of the actual base you have the base itself with this little uh, attachment part that's going to be uh, utilized to, I guess, help you know with the stand. And all the parts necessary to go ahead and construct the stand. And obviously your little instruction manual right here, uh, which has some nice color on the front, but on the back is going to be all grayed out. But, you know, either way you're going to get all the information necessary to go ahead and construct the stand. Okay, and here is the stand. Um, it looks pretty cool. You know, I don't really have any kind of issues with the way it looks. Uh, you can probably do a lot of detail painting inside there. Uh, if you don't want to put that little uh, paper sheet in there, which it does come right here. So you can go ahead and clip this out and then insert it right here. But, you know, you'd probably, you'd probably just benefit from just painting a lot of the parts in there uh, gold and like silver and everything. So that way it kind of reflects off a little bit better. Um, but overall, the stand isn't that bad. Um, you have like this kind of uh, neck right here that can rotate different ways by plugging this little part into the, um, the little ridges right here. So uh, it looks pretty cool. Um, you get different size ones uh, as far as these like little stands. So you get a much smaller one right here which you can utilize. And you also can get a fairly large one that you can also utilize. But I'm just sticking with this one because uh, this one is holding up, um, can hold up a mobile suit just a little bit better. Now you also get these little kind of like stands right here, uh, which can be utilized to plug in into uh, the front right here. So if you want to utilize any kind of weaponry, any funnels, uh, then you can go ahead and do so like, like that. Now you also get this little like claw, uh, which is pretty much used to attach to any kind of waist. This is the kind of same thing that you, you usually get when you purchase like a Figma. Uh, whenever it has a stand, it does come with these little claw attachments, which are pretty useful if like the little peg piece is just not compatible with a certain Gumpla or a uh, certain type of model. You also get these little stands right here, which can be plugged into the waist, uh, just in case this little peg is not compatible. But these are uh, fairly secure, just depending on the actual size of the, of the mobile suit or of the kit's waist. So, you know, if it's like a, a nice little high grade, uh, these would usually suffice. Okay, and to wrap things up about this little stand, um, you do get this little extra piece right here, which can pretty much peg into any kind of funnel that has this little open piece uh, right here, this little poly cap. Um, so you can just plug it in right there and it's not gonna be any issues. So at least, you know, you do get one nice little um, kind of addition to this stand and you don't have to buy multiples uh, just to get like certain things in here. So you at least you get one, uh, which really isn't bad. But overall, you know, I do like this. Um, it's kind of a hassle to deal with in some occasions, uh, just depending on what the pose is. Cause I usually just like to utilize uh, my, um, my uh, stage five, I think that's what it's called. Like these little, po um, these little stands right here, these are pretty much my favorite ones and usually buy them in bulk. Um, like I get like three, uh, three in one package. 
but this is okay just at least for the uh, the build diver series it's kind of like hey this kit uh, well this mobile suit does come from this little action base like you need to utilize this and for in order to uh, access the um, the GBN as well as to make this uh, mobile suit kind of be registered but overall you know it, it's okay guys it's okay um, would I say buy this over maybe the um, maybe some of the other more recent stands that Bandai has released? I'd probably say no. Uh, but if you really want to get this exclusively for your Build Diver set, by all means, go ahead and get that. Um, but that's really it, guys. That's kind of like my opinions on this overall. Uh, definitely uh, let me know in the comments below if you already bought this and you kind of like have your own uh, opinion uh, formulated. Uh, let me know what that is. If you really love this, if you really kind of didn't like it, if it was okay. Um, and then just catch me on the next review, which should be tomorrow. Um, if not, it'd be maybe later on tonight. Uh, but that's it, guys. Definitely thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next review. Bye bye.